You see this? This is a black man. He is, you know, you call me racist, but look, he broke out of jail. I know this because I can see the handcuffs on his arms. Uh, so what if they're gold? He just wanted the style. That's the style it was. He broke out of jail, and he's taking out all my security cameras and all my surveillance stuff, and he just trashed all my weapons. This is incredible. The hog rider is back, and he is not playing around. These guys are actually stronger than witches. How is that possible? You tell me right now. How is that possible? I've seen it with my own eyes. I got the replays to prove it. I got trashed by these hog riders. They three-star my base. And they just they take out all the weapons. They don't want anything else. So this is this is incredible. But what's up, you guys? Um, I got some replays for you today. Now someone actually asked me to do a live raid. Now the problem with that is when you do live raids, sometimes recording and playing on the iPhone causes a bit of lag. So you're at risk of losing. And you know when you're deploying troops, the lag kind of does affect you. But I'm going to go ahead and do one. If I lose, whoever said that in the comment box, everybody just spam him and tell him to shut up next time. Shut up, fool! But let's go ahead and do a live raid today. And let's see if we can get that money. Yeah! Now this doesn't look like a base where you could just run in and start attacking. We need to come up with a plan. I think if we just take out this town hall first, then we might win. We might win. That's a might. This man left his town hall outside, unguarded. Anyone could just jump through the window and get inside. That is not smart. <laughs> Maybe he's got neighborhood watch. People are watching the place. I don't know. All right, so I did my live raid. I'm out of here. All right, now, what's on next? What's on? What? That was good enough for me. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. I'm going to gym up some troops, and let's get in there again. I think, you know what, because I'm going to try and get a 50 star. I don't think it's smart to go all out against these bases. If you can get just one star, that's what you're looking for because it takes, you know, two to three hours for you to get your troops all set up again. And, you know, if you want to hang around that long, that's fine, but I don't have the time for that. I like to get as many fights in as I can so I can get enough trophies and hopefully get a defense win to put me on my shield. Slow and steady is the route I'm taking to get up to the top. And it's also actually better that way because it saves a lot. Uh, using nothing but witches is really costly. And you lose Dark Elixir fast every battle. You do the math. 12, 12 to 20 witches, you know, and they cost like 350 Dark Elixir each. You'll run out of Dark Elixir real quick. So this is anything but cheap. To use those troops and get up really high. And this has always been my strategy. I love uh, just taking out the building structures on the outside. It's a really efficient way to do it. And that's just my method that I'm doing. Now I did lose about 30 trophies from these hog rider attacks. I was able to get them back up. So I'm in the 3000 range. But these things are just really strong. Now I have a similar structure like this. I'm throwing all my buildings on the outside um, because I think there's nothing better than just to come back to your town and you see only like five or ten trophies gone. Uh, I think uh, if you come back and you get three star, that's like, and especially if they're lower than you, that could be 20 something trophies. So it's better just to risk losing a battle by getting a one star. And that's the way I've set my base up. If you've checked out my base, I have it uh, designed so that it's like a merry-go-round style. I basically took the same strategy I did with my farming setup. I put all the weapons in a specific order so that golems will follow the trail. Because I think the worst thing that could happen to your town on defense is for a golem to get inside with uh, where your town hall is. Your weapons will be struggling to take that thing down and all the other enemies will be cleaning you up. So that's pretty much the strategy. Now if you notice that I threw that uh, ice spell down there to stop the weapons from hitting my queen. I think because uh, um, I like to, after I raid somebody, I like to put them on defense. And if she gets hit by those weapons, I think it's like every hit is 15 minutes. <laughs> so I try to save her as best I can because she's actually really good on defense. She can stay back and take out people. So that's what I did. 
I don't mind wasting a spell. And that's pretty much my strategy right there, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you these hog riders. These guys are just ruthless. Uh, I think these might be top tier characters right here. It all depends on how you use them. And this player was really good with them. He threw them in there correctly. It kind of caught me off guard. I didn't really have any of uh, my traps and stuff set up when he did this. Now, I will be doing this myself. I think I have seven more days till I get my hog rider up. Maybe I could gem them up faster, but uh, I will be doing this. I think the strategy is uh, not to use rage spells. If you do, use one, but the rest of them are healing. I think that's, that's where they really shine when you throw healing spells down, especially multiple ones. But I'm sure I've noticed a lot of players are actually using this technique now, and... Uh, I'm, I don't think anyone's prepared for this. You're either just going to have to use them just like this or try and pull something out because they are not playing. And after that, you know, your weapons are pretty much all gone. So whatever is left of the... I, I think even just one archer could do the job. If you had enough time, she could take everything else out. So I'm thinking there might be a patch for this. They may adjust the uh, hog riders so that they're not this strong anymore i do like the hog riders and i will be using this i'll check it out to see um the cost and everything it is a bit of a risk a risk though because uh i think somebody attacked me like this and he used nothing but rage spells and that actually cost him a loss he lost 30 trophies on me and he was actually in the uh champion league so he lost that so i think best spell to use is the heal spell so let me know what you guys think about this type of strategy in the comment box i'd really like to know your thoughts and maybe you could tell me if you think this is overpowered or if this is a nice upgrade they did to the hog riders either way they are really powerful so thank you guys for checking me out and i will see you next time god's out